this version thinks ahead, which is which is the best thing about it, it so far. Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. We are back for the Aldi drive. We don't do this one very often, but um, we are this time since we have a fairly new version and a new neural net to test. Someone asked me in the past to see if I can get it to work in the parking lot here. It's not wanting to enable yet. Right now. Okay. And see if we can make it left. Okay, we got an easy. No, don't get in the left. Don't. No, no. Okay. That could be improved. And no reason it needed to turn so far out in the lane like that. Because if there was traffic coming, it just wouldn't have been able to complete the turn. Thought I wasn't going to make the turn for a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of weird differences on this version. So this is, what, my third? No, fourth. It's fourth kind of drive. A lot of weird differences on this version. It's hard to explain. It's just not... It's like if I'm if I was coming from twelve three six, I would be blown away. But since I'm coming from twelve four three, and I already had most of the improvement, it's 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 oh just it's not as big of a step change for me. At least that that Chris and um a, uh, AI driver and everyone were they were saying this is like another step change. But of course they're on hardware four. It really. This doesn't feel like the step change they were talking about. There are definitely some nice improvements on this version, without a doubt. But there's still a lot of those weird things that happen that I think would have happened on the previous version, too. It's just... Yeah. And see this right here? Okay, it didn't do it, because I think we, these lines are freshly painted. It would cross, always cross over. Interesting. That's. I didn't think it would do that. This is new behavior. So it knew. It knows like a semi truck is gonna be slower. And it gets back over. Though I would have. I thought the same thing. I thought it. Semi truck sped up quicker than I thought it was going to. So it, that did the right thing. Uh, at least for my head. Uh, I think. Yeah. Because we have to get in the right lane. To make this turn. And the previous version would wait until about right here to get over. This version thinks ahead, which is which is the best thing about it so far, as it plans further ahead, and that alone will prevent quite a few disengagements. To be able to plan that far ahead, it's going to prevent a lot of disengagements, especially in, if you're in a high traffic situation. That's what causes most of those disengagements because the car didn't plan far enough ahead, and it. And it just can't get over and essentially you have to disengage the human has to disengage to aggressively get, get in the, the next lane yeah this is a very appropriate speed on this road right here so the previous version 1243 would slow down for these railroad tracks though it was not very smooth and this was already slowed down like that was great Nothing, nothing to complain about right there. Um, though it, it's what I do complain about. It's going 32 to 35. I would go normally 40 here. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It should at least go the speed limit. And I think that someone made a comment. It's like, oh, speed limit. Uh, insinuating that speed limits don't mean you have to go, you know, that fast. You can go slower. I'm like, well, sure. But quite frankly, I think more often than not because of other traffic, going slower is more dangerous because you have people tailgating you, you have pe people that are get pissed off behind you. Yes, it's a human problem. But same thing, to going five under the speed limit, I don't care if there's houses around, there's no children right here, these are under construction. It shouldn't be going five under. And I'm gonna have to, let's see if this is gonna mess it up. We might mess it up, let's see. Okay, that worked. So that seems to be an improvement. I don't want to say anything too much because that has regressed again in previous versions. 
where you could reroute really quickly and then it wouldn't mess it up. It seems like maybe that's what's um might be another improvement in this version. What, what? It can go. There's no one coming from the left. See, that type of stuff is what this version has introduced. That type of false hesitancy. And that's a definite regression in my eyes on this version. It's a false hesitancy that the other version just didn't have. I'd never had those type of problems. Like, there's absolutely no cars coming. Like, there was no reason it should have braked there. And it was clear to go. And it just decided to just brake and stay. It, it was one thing if it paused real quick, braked, like, oh, um, kind of brake checked and then kept on going. But that wasn't the case. But, uh, let's see, do we have any interventions so far? I don't think so. I always, I always forget if I had an intervention or not. I guess, no, I didn't. I mean, I haven't had an intervention so far, so maybe this one will be a zero intervention drive. I guess technically zero intervention to Aldi, but, um, uh, it needs to, uh, make it all the way home before the route is considered zero intervention. Someone has stolen my spot, so I will park over here. Okay, everyone, let's head back home. Let's see if it's gonna do soon. Notice how it's taking a left. See, it just changes right at the last second, and we don't go that way. I don't know why it does that, because it's quicker to take a left here. You have to make it Especially there's no traffic here, which is weird. I guess we are about 30 minutes to an hour earlier than normal, but... Okay. So, I did press the accelerator just to make sure it got through this light because I don't know why it changed so late. But um, I absolutely was not, absolutely not gonna be waiting at that light, again, that second light for that long. It's also going too fast in here. It's slowing down now, but I don't know why it goes up to 45 right there. That's the same exact behavior as the previous version. It's so interesting how like, I guess it's trading on the same data somewhere. And so maybe that's what they're tweaking over time is they're tweaking the data set where it, and it will no longer like over accelerate to 45 and a 35. I'm really hoping they made it consistent to where every, it gets onto the highway. And then changes over to version 11. It seems to be consistent, so that's good. And once it knows it's merged on the highway, that's when it changes back. That's good. Um, <laughs> that uh, started breaking before I realized what it was breaking for. Um, yeah, that's why this is superhuman. I did not realize. Even when I looked up after the car started to break, I'm like, why is it breaking? Then I realized, oh, the traffic in front of me is breaking. It's interesting why we have so much traffic here. There's probably one person going slow trying to pass a car. This is why a three-lane highway basically, like, this, this type of issue is much less common because the people that want to go fast stay in the far left lane, and then you have the people that kind of slow everyone down being in the middle lane. Why everyone's getting over like this? It's not like I'm going like I'm going one mile an hour over the speed limit, so I'm not sure exactly why. What's happening here? Why everyone's going so slow? Is it this one truck? Change lanes right there. I guess 
this carb is like slowing down for some reason. Maybe because they thought they were construction workers. I don't know. Of course, I'm going past, but I'm also going 11 over the speed limit here, which I would not allow it to do if there were actual construction workers here. And then it slows down. Like this, like that type of stuff is really annoying. Now the car beside me is going to catch up to me. And then the car behind me is going to catch up to me. And now I'm not going to be in the right lane, and it's going to get annoying, it's going to cause traffic issues. So this car right here is going to catch up to me, this car, should we get, go ahead and get over? Which it is doing. It barely had enough time to do that. But then, now it's going to speed back up to 65. Funny enough, I like to just go ahead and speed up to 65 going up that hill. And it does it here. Okay, so this hill right here isn't going to slow down properly. Much better. Much, much better. Now to see if it does it consistently every time I get off this exit. I really, really enjoy the fact that that slowed down smoothly all the way down the extra ramp though. That's one main, for sure, improvement with this version is that it does an appropriate speed off the off the off ramp handled all this traffic well didn't over accelerate here like it has in the past very good like perfect acceleration right here so he's up to 45 48 that's great acceleration is it gonna actually slow down um, it's fine anyways guys um, that's the end of this route I think we had Truly, well, uh, not counted the one where I pushed it through the light, but I think we had no interventions the whole time on this route. So that's great. This uh, this version definitely is doing good. Can't wait for you guys to have it soon. See you in the next video. Bye, one.